All right, good morning. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Tuesday morning, and it is after hurricane show today. We had this tropical storm thing blow through here last night and into this morning. It's already cleared up out of here, and it did a you know decent little bit of damage. Ripped the shed door off. I had just put that shed door back on, but I didn't close it. That was my stupidity right there. If I would have closed it, it never would have ripped it off. Blew until it got torn off. This morning, it's about 10 o'clock right now, and it's me and Jaron. Hello, APS Army. How y'all today? Shout out to Jaron. We are on storm patrol. We're gonna hit the storage unit real quick, pick up the chainsaw, pull saw, and then we are gonna go check out the property that we didn't get a chance to finish cutting yesterday, because I can only imagine there's gonna be a decent amount of storm debris over there. I'm hoping that there's not, but there probably will be. So we're going to go get loaded up, head over to this property, and see what this storm has done. There's a big old tree down. Oh, Yee! Damn it. All right, we are taking the scenic route over to the property right now. We got a chainsaw and a pole saw. We're going to see a bunch of debris back here for sure. This area is a you know pretty wooded area, and it gets a lot of damage. Okay. God, that thing is definitely not looking good just hanging over that road. Yeah, and you can get rid of this tree all the way. What? We're closed up here. Oh, Lord. All right, so where we got to go? We can get around it. Uh, I see fire lines down right here. Oh, man. Yeah. Don't think we're getting around that, Bubba. Shit. Four-wheel drive? <laughs> I don't know another way over here. Mm. I do. All right. Well, we just hit a roadblock. Got to turn around and try to find another way to this property. There is definitely going to be some damage over there. Let's try to get over there the back way. This is the back way. We got to try to get over there another back way now. Well, we tried to take a back road, and bang, we got, we got a lot of debris going on. A whole lot of down trees and definitely took a super scenic route. This is pretty damn far. Everybody's out here cutting down trees. All right, hopefully we're gonna make it over to this house. We've seen a lot of damage, a lot of debris, a lot of down power lines. And hopefully over at this house, it's not gonna be that bad, but there's definitely gonna be something over there for sure. I can just imagine that. We couldn't have picked the worst back road to have to go down. All right, we made it past the tree debris that was in the road, and now we're on another road that is just full of debris. Haven't seen anything down just yet. I'm ready to start screaming out the window. Storm clean up! Today's the day you can get all sorts of money. You got a chainsaw, you're gonna make all sorts of money. Bad day to have a minivan. This wasn't even a hurricane that came through here. It was a little bit of 60 mile an hour wind gust. Didn't last all that long. Can you imagine if this thing would have sat over us as a category two or three? Would have been pretty ugly. Damn, big old tree. Yeah. Bloom. All right, cool deal. We've made it to the neighborhood. That 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 alternate route took us easily 30 minutes to get here. It's definitely still a little windy out. It's supposed to be dying off. This afternoon is supposed to be really nice. We may even, if it dries up a little bit, be able to come out here and finish cutting grass. Jaron, if you see anybody walking down the street, you tell them. Clean up. We'll do that clean up for you. We will do that cleanup. Look at the pole. Power line broke, bent. Ah. We'll do that cleanup for you. All right, let's see what this property looks like. Dun, dun, dun. Pray for nothing too severe. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we got some work to do, Bubba. Let's get it. Another major tree down. I want to assess the damage first. See what we got, where we got it. Yeah, could have been a lot worse, that's for sure. Said it could have been a lot worse, that's for sure. How'd y'all make out? If you need somebody to get it out of there, we'll get it out of there for you. We got a chainsaw. I'll come down there and cut it up. What's that? We, I do the property maintenance here. We'll be here today if you need some help. There you go. There you go. Hey, take care. Yeah, thank you. So here's what we're up against quite a bit. This damn tree has got so much rotten in Jared. Keep an eye out for anything broken up there that may be trying to come down. Uh, this is definitely going to... Yeah, there's a little limb right there. That is a huge piece of a tree right there. Thank God we got a chainsaw now, plus the pole saw. Need some spikes. All right, so this is the biggest that we got. We got a lot of debris. Got some stuff over here. A lot of people are out getting their yards squared away. Yeah, be careful of this tree over here. There's another limb over there that was laying low yesterday and I figured that was gonna go. That one's down. Big piece of a tree over here. Yeah, this is gonna be a heck of a lot of cleanup. Heck of a lot. What is that right there? That's a whole piece of a tree that got blown into this tree. Yeah. Don't think we're gonna be able to cut today right here. Anything over here? They got power lines that run right through there. I don't know if they've got anything down over there. There's trees across the back of the property. Let's see how much is down back here. Oh yeah, she's a swamp back here. Uh, yeah, nothing major back here. I don't see anything. All right, we're good. I gotta go get some pictures of this. All right, so we've seen what it is. This whole neighborhood has a whole bunch of debris across the street. They've got a ton of debris down. They're already cleaning that up. I gotta take pictures, email this to the property owner, and then we're gonna get to work on this. This is gonna be a all day affair for sure. Could definitely use some additional help out here. All right, only been out here for probably about an hour. And we're getting it. My brother gave me this Echo Chainsaw for helping him do his move a couple of weeks ago. And let me tell you guys, that thing is really holding it down. Here's what we've got going on so far. Ton of debris, huge, huge debris. We got it all mostly over here. And that's what we got going on over there. Special shout out to Jaren. How you holding up over there, you all right? A little hot, a little hot for sure. I've also emailed the property owner over here, charging him $400 for this cleanup. I think that's a pretty fair price. It's, a, it's probably gonna be a good, you know, most of the day. I thought it was gonna be an all day affair, but we're really rocking and rolling on this thing. I don't think we're gonna take the debris out of here. I think we're gonna pile it up by the road. We're gonna cut it up real small, pile it up nice and neat by the road. We just had a storm. I know the neighbors are doing a lot of that, putting the stuff by the side of the road. So I, I know the city's going to be coming through here to get, to get this. So that's what we're going to do. Taking a bunch of before and after pictures of this to show the owner. And over there, you can't see it. I just came from over there. I was cutting a bunch of really big debris over there too. 
So we're gonna have to drag that out. It'll dry up a little while later. We're gonna come back and we're gonna finish cutting this grass. And yeah, we're gonna get this thing cleaned up real nice. So let's keep going. My wife's bringing us some bar oil for the chainsaw and the pole saw. Hopefully you can find that. I'm sure that's not gonna be the easiest thing to find day after a storm. Every ad on Facebook right now is, we'll come cut down some trees for you. If you got a chainsaw today, today's the day to go out there and make some money. You guys heard me earlier talking to some neighbors. You just gotta try to talk to people. You ain't guaranteed to get to work. I was ready to start screaming out the window, driving down the neighborhood like the ice cream man. Storm debris cleanup. Holler at us. So, cool deal. Let's get back to work and I'll show you what we got. God, Lord, look how much I'm sweating. That's just from my arm right there. Damn. Let's get back to work and get this job squared away. Oh my Lord. What time is it, Jan? It is 12.27. What time we get over here? I think like 10, 10.30. All right, we have got to go get more equipment. We gotta go get the lawnmower, trailer, wheelbarrow, leaf blower, more rakes. We have gotten a lot of this done. There's still a fair amount of this left to do, plus cutting this grass. And I'm gonna show you guys how much we've done. We've done a, a good amount. So, boom, we got a couple of piles left in the yard. Still a little bit of tree debris on the other side of the yard. But look at all these damn piles we got for the city to come get. Bunch of piles over, bunch of piles over here. I mean, you guys can't see it. Bunch of piles over here and a bunch of piles over there. So, uh, don't wanna burn them out of the driveway. Cool deal. There's all our tree debris and got the yard looking a hell of a lot better, but we need more equipment. We need a bigger boat. So that's what we are getting ready to go get. It is hot as shit. We ain't even got no drinks out here. Jaren's going into dehydration right now. Yeah. We done, we done sweated up all the all the water in our bodies. So let's go get some equipment, get back over here and get some stuff done. And I gotta still go meet with that next flip house at some point in the near future today. So I do plan on showing you guys what we're up against with that. Oh, big old tree. Tree lamp. Storm debris clean up. All right, let's get back over to the property. It's 1.37 in the afternoon and we had to go get major gear. Jaren, I'm gonna cut if you're gonna continue working on this stuff. And I'm gonna start over here. So we're gonna try to knock out a couple of birds with one stone and I gotta leave here in about an hour to go meet the next flip house property owner and try to take care of some things with him. I'm gonna do some filming while I'm over there for sure so you guys can see just what we're getting, what we got. And hell yeah, let's get this damn property knocked out. We've gotten a lot of work done thus far with no drinks. We got drinks now, so let's make it happen. You ready, Jaron? Yes, sir. Word. <sighs> All right, it is 2.40 in the afternoon and I'm getting ready to leave. Jaron is still over here. I gotta go meet the homeowner for the, for the next flip house. That's what I'm getting ready to go do right now. And we got one side completely done. All these damn piles. And that looks really good. We got a lot of the mowing done too. I, I knocked that out real quick. And Jaron's been cutting and moving stuff. The roads are probably still blocked off. They've been blocked off pretty much all day because of that down power line. So I'm having to take this back way and I hate this back way. It is so out here in the boonies and it is, it's a long ride. So my wife's gonna meet me over at this house. I'm gonna try to do some filming over here. Yeah, that damn thing is pretty much snapped. I'm gonna try to do some filming over at this next flip so you guys can see what we got, what we're getting. We're getting a contract today. I'm giving this man this deposit today. So this thing's about as close to being mine as possible. All right, over at the flip house and had to leave Jaron over at the job a little bit ago so we can hurry up and get that damn thing done. We were able to go back over there. I cut a 
fair amount of grass. There's only a really little bit of grass that needs to be cut. Jaron has done a lot of debris removal. So very special shout out to that guy. That's a hard working guy. I wanted to try to have Rabbit today too. And I called him this morning and he was out doing other storm debris removal. So he wanted to be able to work. He already had some prior obligations. So there's that. All right, I'm over here at the flip house and we are getting ready to go right across the street to the next flip house. I'm waiting on my wife to get over here right now. She is, she's got the money and we're gonna put down this earnest money deposit. We're getting the contract for this thing and by within a month, probably somewhere around there, we're gonna have this next house. I'm gonna be filming over here. I'm gonna show you guys this next flip house. I wanna thank the people from the comment section of the last video uh, telling me about the electrical panel can be outside. I never knew that. So thank you for that information right there. And thanks for the encouragement on this thing. I know that this house that we're getting is in way better condition than the one that we currently have. But when you see the inside of this thing, I'm telling you guys, it's, it's identical to this house that we've got right here. Or, or at least the way that it used to be. I may not do as much in terms of opening it up like it is now. You guys will see that. So we're getting ready to go over there. Hopefully, you guys are gonna think that this is a really good house. So let's get ready to go check it out. Okay, we're inside the next house. Here's the front door right here, window, window, and this is the living room right here. Same archway from the one across the street. Same original hardwood floors. We've got newer replacement windows throughout the house, which is really nice. HVAC is operational. And this is a dining room right here. So we've got a nice little dining room. That's gonna be the kitchen right there. Well, I mean, that's the kitchen right there. There's your HVAC return. Looking at the ceilings, you can see that there's been some repairs that have been done, but they're no worse for the wear. In here, we've got a couple as well. I mean, we could probably just replaster. Uh, you've got linoleum flooring in the dining room area and it's a little bit different. There's a little bit of a lip right there going into the living room, but no biggie there. Here's the attic that actually has an attic ladder in it compared to the other one that didn't have that. Checking it out. So here's the back bedroom right here. Walls in pretty decent condition. It's actually got a mirror in it. Closet identical to the one that we I mean, it's identical. So there's that. The good thing about this one versus the one that we had, at least the trim is painted white and not stained. And that was a big reason why we had to take all of the old trim down. We're not gonna have to do that here. Everything is really nice. Nothing too bad. So I want to show you the attic. If I can, the light just blew up here. So it's going to be a little dark. But just bear with me. Alright, so what you're looking at right here is the HVAC system. HVAC looks really good up here. Full walkway throughout the entire attic. Storage space up here. 
it's really dark I'm gonna show you the water heater it's back here got one busted board right there but everything else is pretty good here's the water heater right here I don't know if that's gas yeah I think it might I, I have no idea I'm, I imagine that's a gas water heater super hot up here I'm not planning on doing anything HVAC wise so there's that what I didn't okay there's the drip pan down there there's no electrical exposed like what we had at the other house oh. yeah it's only 100 degrees up here all right so here is the attic ladder this is pretty neat it just goes like that like that just stays up like that and boom she closes she locks so that thing doesn't fall down on you all right the bathroom So it's not nowhere near as bad as the bathroom that we had. It's got a bigger vanity space, mirror, shelving, tile already. Wow. And now it's got a window in here. We're gonna probably just leave that. There's the toilet. Um, yeah. A little light exhaust fan combo. HVAC in the bathroom. Walls. What do you think, baby? Front bedroom. Front bedroom closet. Test for water damage and rot, but I'm gonna tell you what, that's really sturdy right there. The other house, you could fall through it right there. I'm gonna put the flooring throughout the house right over top of this original flooring. All the windows are in good condition, way newer than the windows that we have. Replace some fixtures. Doors are missing in the bedrooms, but no big deal. Now let me show you the kitchen. We were actually talking about that. Could we extend the fence over? Okay, so here's the kitchen. The kitchen is super small, but that is not our. It's a kitchen. So you can go all the way and tie right into to that fence. That's the next door neighbor's fence that's right on the Sure. So, okay. Kitchen's a little. A little funky, but nothing too major. Your stove goes right there. Microwave. Cabinets up here. Cabinets are not in bad condition. We could possibly paint these. Maybe put granite in here. Granite throughout. So, there's the kitchen. Now, I'm guessing um, washer and dryer. Stackable set right here, possibly. Refrigerator somewhere over here too. These two lots take part of it and then you would have a building. Or maybe the refrigerator in the dining room. Who knows? Alright, back door. Nice back door. Screen door. Okay, so check this out. This is the real deal right here. HVAC, operational. They just put some new steps on the back for us right here. They're not the greatest. The guys he's had working on this place, they are definitely not the greatest. But, hey, they should have took that away. Repaint the back deck. Here's the back of the house right here. 
<clears throat> I mean, tell me this doesn't look identical to the house that we had. Here's the yard, big old shed in the back. Haven't ever looked in here. They put new steps and new treads right there. Joe, watch that rusty nail. Never looked in here. Oh, wow. That is actually not a bad little shed. There's even a little door right there. I wonder where that door goes to. Huh. Okay. So. There's a speaker box. That's pretty interesting in the backyard. Old clothesline. So you got a nice size yard and here's the you know here's what makes it even better this whole lot right here is this property as well so it's a very narrow lot the property line actually goes all the way over to that fence right there so we think we can extend the fence maybe sell the lot who knows here's the side of the house right here got some siding damage we're gonna encapsulate this put some new siding over it it does have gas in here I don't know where the refrigerator would go but we can figure that out and the final thing I want to show you guys real quick is this electrical that definitely needs to be upgraded here's the panel box outside and there she be old rusty no that's all knob and tubing wire in there i'm probably going to re definitely going to redo the panel box upgrade the electrical i don't know if that can be done without opening the walls up but i sure hope that it can be we'll definitely find out so that's the next house right here folks it looks just like the one that we've currently got across the street and i've got the contract on this thing right now so it's about to be ours we're signing these contracts after we get these looked over by some people who know how to look at these contracts we've put down the deposit and folks you're looking at the next felon flipper somebody said how is it felon flippers when there's not even a felon i'd be that felon you're looking at the next felon flippers house right across the street from the first one. Whoo, boy, my back is hurting. I'm feeling like Dave right now. All right, so obviously we're done looking at the house. I'm glad I got a chance to film that. The attic light blew as soon as I turned on the switch. So that's why it was so dark up in there. But hopefully you guys could tell that, you know, the attic's in good condition. There's definitely some stuff that needs to be done with that house. Man, we got two lots now. What the homeowner told me was the lot that sits beside it's only 30 feet wide, I think, and it's not wide enough to build on, but you can take away from the lot that the actual house sits on, add to the lot that doesn't have enough, and it can be a buildable lot. I just got a phone with my wife, and I was talking to her about this. You know, she's the one that really picked this house out, so she deserves all the credit in this situation. She found this. And we're in the process of getting it. We've got the contract. Lawyer's going to look at the contract. We're going to get a title search on it just to make sure everything's good there. He's actually paying the closing costs. So, man, this guy is such a nice guy. He owns nine other properties. He's trying to sell me the other properties. But getting back to this lot, if we added enough to be able to build on the unbuildable lot, y'all, we could do a brand new construction. Can you imagine old joe trying to build a house from the ground up where's brian number one at we've done a lot of due diligence on this house i've looked at a lot of numbers on this thing <clears throat> and who knows what we do do we buy it and then resell it again to somebody else without doing any work basically playing the middleman role but we've actually bought the house those middlemen they don't even buy the house they just tack on a little bit to the price and they try to sell the house do we do all the repairs, extend the fence line all the way over to the other lot, put a nice driveway on it. But y'all, we take it away from what could potentially be a two for one, kind of. 
At least we got the lot. At least we got the land to be able to build another house if we went that route. I can tell you one thing, with the updating and the repairs and the upgrades that we're gonna do in this house, I mean, if we do that, which I'm pretty sure we will, and having that additional lot, it's definitely gonna add to the value of this thing. So, cool deal. Wheeling and dealing, and I'm on my way back out to the property cleanup job, and we're gonna wrap this thing up. We're gonna get this job done. It's taken entirely too long to get the grass cut over there. Two days to get the grass cut, but we did have a hurricane that came through. I wish I could film and show you. You know what? I am going to film and I'm going to show you this. So taking this super long detour, because again, those down power lines, you know, we pass by all sorts of out in the boonies, houses, and just, you know, a lot of stuff out here. But there's this huge horse farm, a really, really pretty horse farm. And the damn stables, the stable building, I don't know what you call that thing, the stables, I guess. Uh, this whole thing in one piece was completely flipped over. I don't know if that happened from the storm, but it seems like the most plausible situation. I want to show you guys this. All right, there it is right there, folks. Welcome to Yellowstone. Check out this. And there's the barn out there, the stables out there in the distance. Trying to zoom in so I can make sure I show you all this. All right, I'm gonna try to get the best shot that I can. Look at this. See it way back there? It's all flipped over. Hell of a property right there. All right, enough lollygagging. I got a whole tail back to this job and we got to get this thing done all right no video today probably no bobo neither but here it is bang here is the property huge tree was over here we got her ass looking right there was a lot of debris over there and we got one two three four five six seven piles over there and we've got i think three over there so ten piles of tree debris but we got it cleaned up hey jerry man how you holding up yeah you worked hard today man yes, sir. appreciate that man I had a lot of running around to do, but you held it down while I was gone. Yep. Came back, you were damn near done. What'd you think of this? It's a big ass property. Yeah. But I've cut bigger. On the right circumstances, I see this taking about two hours, maybe. Yeah, two zero turns. <laughs> That's about the only circumstances. Usually takes four or three and a half, somewhere around there, three and a half to four hours. But, but this time it took us two days. We're done. We got her done, and it couldn't have been possible without you. Thank you, Jern. No problem. Thank you for giving me the work and blessing me. Really, truly. Oh, yeah, you about to get blessed for real. Definitely about to look out for you. Hey, you're matching my lights. I know. Damn, why? <laughs> Man, I went from a bag to a bag to a bag. I remember me and mama used to ride the cab. Pull up out the lot, no more lease, we pay cash. Show up to a crib, had the keys to a jack. That's that light work, flexing so much it hurt. Used to rock heavy dimes, now Versace down my shirt. I remember them days, we couldn't wait for the first. Finally made me a meal, now we eating off the